Hello everyone, just Podcast TV is here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get Episode notified on new content. I really don't lack money. Where's the old doctor? Let's go and meet him now. We have to get this technology out of there in advance, no matter how much money we have. There would definitely be a lot of people fighting over such awesome technology. Zack could only guess that when he went to meet the old professor, there would already be other people fighting over it. Carson had a good relationship with the old doctor, and he also decided to bring Zack there. However, Boss, I have to go and pick up the child now. I can only go with you after the arrangements are done. Zack waved his hand. You don't need to accompany me. Just tell me the address and contact details. I'll go by myself. I'll call you if there's anything wrong. You'll always have the time to answer the phone. Carson was especially happy that Zack had the same passion as him. Of course, I have the time. Don't worry. I will call him right away and contact him about this matter. After saying that, Carson took out his phone. However, he found that he couldn't make the call. Only then did he ring. His phone had been in debt for two months. Such an amazing person was already so poor that his phone was in debt. But even in this kind of predicament, he still did not give up on the search and exploration for the new energy car. This kind of spirit, this kind of talent, Zach believed was the true treasure of a country, a great craftsman. After Carson contacted him, Zach drove there overnight. He did not take a plane. The closest plane would be at noon tomorrow. He did not take the high-speed rail either. The high-speed rail would take him tomorrow morning. He only wanted to rush there as soon as possible. So he called Donnie, who had been following him from afar to protect him, to get into the car. Get in the car. You guys drive the car overnight. I'll sleep in the car for a while. Zack needed enough energy to deal with the old doctor he was going to meet the next day. Zack had to take down the person who developed the hydrogen power system. He had to do it. The car drove for the whole night. Finally, at around 8 o'clock the next morning, Zack appeared in a small factory. If Carson had not pointed out the location, Zack would not have thought that such an awesome professor would be researching such an awesome thing in a small factory. The old doctor's name was Dr. Dusty. He was 70 years old this year. However, the old doctor's body was very tough, and he looked like he was only in his early 60s. Some people would even believe that he was in his 50s. At this moment, Dr. Dusty was wearing glasses. He was wearing greasy work clothes, and he was carefully comparing the data on the trademark card ruler. Inside the factory, there were also some young people who were probably Dr. Dusty's students. They were all pillars of talent and high-tech talents. At this moment, they were all wearing greasy work clothes. They looked no different from the first-tier workers in the machinery factory. It was hard to imagine that these people were all top students from famous universities. They were definitely the cream of the crop. Seeing that no one else had come, Zack heaved a sigh of relief in his heart. He was afraid that someone would compete with him for this skill. To be honest, if it was someone from the country who had snatched it, then so be it. But if it was snatched by a foreigner, then it would be a huge disgrace. It was a good feeling to have something that you created for a good purpose, but it was a terrible thing to have someone else misuse your invention. Taking a design intended for acts of good and turning it against you was the worst feeling in the world. Zack would not want this to happen, especially to him. He quickly walked to Dr. Dusty, and Zack excitedly greeted him. Dr. Dusty, hello, I am... As he was talking, Dr. Dusty waved his hand. This data doesn't seem right. Dr. Dusty continued to study the mold as he muttered to himself. As for Zack, he left him to the side. Since the other party was researching a problem, Zack could not say anything. He could only take a few steps back and wait there. In the end, he waited from 8 in the morning to 7 in the evening, almost waiting for the right time to come. After Dr. Dusty called him to stop, he took off his greasy work uniform and came to Zack's side. Did little Carson introduce you? Little Carson was naturally Carson. Zack quickly nodded his head. There wasn't the slightest bit of displeasure on his face. 
As long as he could obtain this technique, he would be able to wait for three days and nights, not to mention the right time. Dr. Dusty looked at him and said, You have a good patience. You are the first one who waited for me to take the initiative to speak. Dr. Dusty's words made Zach's heart skip a beat. In other words, it meant that many people had already come to their doorstep. So he quickly asked, Dr. Dusty, did you accept research funding from foreigners? Dr. Dusty took out a cigarette and put it into his mouth. Zach quickly took out a lighter to help him light the cigarette, but he did not use it. He lit it himself. I didn't accept the research and development funds. It was all the technology transfer fees from my previous life. There were no research and development funds. This naturally meant that there was no transfer of this patented technology. This made Zach let out a long sigh of relief. Dr. Dusty asked again, I heard from little Carson that you want to use my power system to make cars. It was an old man who got straight to the point. Zach nodded. Yes, I also want to make a car and participate in the world's annual wind and cloud car selection. I also want to promote this car to the whole country and to the whole world. Dr. Dusty did not comment and asked again. If the cost of building a good bicycle is a few hundred, how much do you think is suitable for sales? Zach did not know why Dr. Dusty asked this, but he still answered truthfully. Excluding all the cost, the price of the bicycle will be increased by 500. Dr. Dusty asked with a smile, Then you will be selling 2,000 vehicles a month. Doesn't that mean that you will only make a profit of 10 million? After deducting taxes, your annual profit is less than 100 million. You still need to maintain the market and research funds for this 100 million. It's simply not enough to make ends meet. Zach replied, If you sell it for any higher people, they might not buy it at all. But if you keep my small upcharge, then you will be able to make a small profit, which you can then use to invest in production across the world. After that, increasing prices steadily at these other factories will rack in a large amount of profit. Dr. Dusty sat down on the mold of the engine shell beside him and said, It sounds like you are quite generous. Zach replied truthfully, It's mainly because I don't lack money. Dr. Dusty was amused. This was the first time he had seen such a straightforward person. If you don't lack money, why are you getting a car factory? You speak as if you don't come for profit. Besides, how much money do you have? Episode 258, Technology and Innovation. Zack did not reply. He just turned to Dr. Dusty and asked, How much money does it cost to buy you and your students' patents? Dr. Dusty twitched his mouth. That's expensive. According to what you said, if you plan to make 20,000 cars a month, I estimate that your annual profit will be quite good. Just now, he had said that the annual profit would be $1 billion. Using $1 billion to buy technical talent and technology transfer fees based on the market price, it was indeed very high. But in Zach's opinion, spending this money was very much worth it. Just like spending $50 million to buy the things in Carson's head. Therefore, Zach replied without hesitation. Sure, and this $1 billion does not include your research labs or anything like that. I will provide those other things, and I will guarantee that they will be the most advanced in the world. I will let Carson contact you. If you need any equipment, he will immediately buy it. If you need an ion collider, I won't say anything. I promise to buy it. These words shocked Dr. Dusty. You really don't lack money. Zach nodded solemnly. I really don't lack money. Dr. Dusty was very curious. This young man, who looked to be in his 20s, did not seem to be here to cause trouble. But since he wasn't here to cause trouble, then there must be a profit scheme. Otherwise, what would he want? Dr. Dusty directly asked what Zach was up to. Zach took out his phone and opened the news about the movie, Old Watson, as well as the main page of the Wood Film Company. I don't mean to show you these things, 
I just want to tell you that I am the chairman of the Dream Group. Besides, my goal is very simple. But my only goal is to make a good movie and get the approval of the whole world. Make a good car and make the whole world envious. Now, I have already made a good movie, so I want to make a good car. I know that Carson is a great figure in the automotive world, and so are you. Therefore, I am willing to do whatever it takes to gather all of you. We will build a good car that can push the world together, Zack said. Dr. Dusty looked at Zack for a while and then replied, You are so direct. All right, I won't delay it, even if you are happy. Originally, I was also short on research and development funds. Originally, I also had to sell it to someone who little Carson approved of. The result wouldn't be so bad. However, there's a condition that you have to agree to. He didn't expect the negotiations to go so smoothly. This made Zack overjoyed. But at this moment, a short fatty with a small mustache walked in, followed by two bodyguards. Zack knew that there would be people coming to steal his skills, but he thought that it would be before him. He didn't think that it would be after him. Dr. Dusty looked at the short fatty, then he put out the cigarette butt on the ground and put it out with his foot. Taking the opportunity to spit out the last mouthful of smoke, he introduced the representative of Empire Group, Tom Tassel, has come a few times. Zack had some understanding about the Empire Group. The strength of the heavy industrial group could not be underestimated, but this could not be underestimated. It was in the top 500 companies in the world. When Tom Tassel came close, he first greeted Dr. Dusty politely. Then he said to Zack, No matter who you are, who you represent behind the scenes, you are not qualified to compete with our Empire Group for Technology. So I advise you to leave obediently in case you end up in a bad situation. Zack said with a smile, Little Fatty, you are so confident. This little fatty comment made Tom Tassel very unhappy. Beside him, who angrily rebuked, Excuse me? Zack turned his head to look at the bodyguard. Nothing you say will work. I'll let you know at the same time. I don't like your attitude, so I'm very honored to tell you that you won't be able to return to the country. The other bodyguard was also very angry. Are you threatening us? Zack shifted his gaze to the bodyguard and shook his head. Why would I threaten you? I'm just stating a fact. It's as if you can't return to your country. It's just a simple fact. The two bodyguards were very angry, but before they could do anything, the guards stopped. Don't be rude in front of Mr. Dusty. We are the superior people. We don't argue with the inferior people. After reprimanding him, as if he had realized that these words were inappropriate, Empire looked at Dr. Dusty with an ingratiating smile. Mr. Dusty, please don't misunderstand. I respect Mr. Dusty very much. I am only targeting him. Tom Tassel wanted to say something, but Dr. Dusty waved his hand. You don't have to come again. I have already said that this technology will not be transferred to you. I would rather destroy it. Episode 259. I found it. Zack pointed at the small fat man and said to Dr. Dusty, Sell to me. This little fatty won't be able to return to the country. Dr. Dusty replied, As long as you have the ability, I don't care. Dr. Dusty believed that Zack had the ability. After that, Zack also displayed his ability. He took out his phone and called Donnie. After the three of them leave, don't let them return to the country. The plane tickets are too expensive. Donnie, who was on the phone, was very happy. I love doing this. The phone call was made in front of Tom. That was why he felt that Zack was very arrogant. His two bodyguards were even more restless. And in the next moment, Tom Tassel used an even more arrogant attitude to directly threaten Zack and Dr. Dusty. You will kneel down and beg me. After greeting the two bodyguards, Tom Tassel left angrily. After they left, 
Zek looked at Dr. Dusty. You should use him to suppress me. Take the opportunity to pressure me. Force me to agree to my name. And even add more money. Dr. Dusty asked. You will agree. Zack laughed and answered. No. That's amazing. Dr. Dusty stood up and said. It's not like I can't sell my skills. Why should I sell them to someone like you? Besides, I still don't know what they are thinking. The contract was signed casually and the terms were all agreed however the staff sent over was stolen by the technology they went back to tear up the contract and loudly announced that there was a breakthrough in the latest technology you still want to trick me with such a small trick <laughs> you're looking down on us too much zach raised his thumb the old man is wise after discussing with dr dusty zach seemed especially happy yesterday he had taken down Carson, and today, he had taken down Dr. Dusty. With these two great men in his hands, there was hope for him to build a magnificent car. At the same time, Tom drove his car to the corner of a remote intersection. But at this moment, it was blocked by a car from the opposite side. Tom Tassel's bodyguard was very angry, and he kept honking. At this time, Tom was making a phone call. He had to contact someone to take care of Zack and make Dr. Dusty feel pain. He took the initiative to hand over the technique to Dr. Dusty. However, before the call connected, he heard a bang. Then, he saw the driver's side window break. Then, the bodyguard who was driving was strangled and dragged out of the car like a dead dog. The bodyguard was still capable of fighting. However, after fighting for less than two seconds, his neck was broken with a cracking sound. Tom Tassel, who was sitting in the car, was scared out of his wits. It was only at this moment that he realized that Zack was not bragging to him, nor was he trying to scare him. He really wanted to save this ticket back to the country, but this price was his life. While he was feeling fearful, another bodyguard was also dragged away. However, his death was more tragic. There was a dagger on the bodyguard's body stabbing him more than 30 times in a row. When the corpse was released, the bodyguard looked like a sieve, extremely miserable. Seeing that someone was walking towards him, Tom Tom quickly knelt down in the back seat and kowtowed with all his might. I was wrong! I, I dare not! Before he could finish his words, Tom felt the world spin, and he completely lost consciousness. Donnie and the other two were the strongest bodyguards. Otherwise, Mason would not have sent them to protect Zack. That was why they moved very quickly. In less than a minute and a half, everything was settled. And the third day, Zack arranged for someone to rush over and sign the contract. However, Zack did not sign the contract rashly. He even used his family's connections to specifically find someone to verify the power system and appraise its feasibility. Although Zack was happy, he was not a fool. It was impossible for him to hear someone sign the contract with just a few words. Dr. Dusty appreciated Zack's cautiousness. The real traitor would not be unhappy because of Zack's cautiousness. He would only feel that Zack's partner was not reliable because of Zack's carelessness. Moreover, the people Zack arranged were all very professional. When they verified the power system, they communicated with each other, which gave Dr. Dusty a lot of inspiration and opened up a lot of ideas. Dr. Dusty felt very happy about this, and at the same time, he was surprised by Zack's connections. One should know that it was not easy for people like them, who had extremely high skills, and even reached the pinnacle, to meet the king. After interacting with each other, they had gained new benefits, which was especially good. Dr. Dusty had previously believed that Zack had trust in Carson, but now he realized that Zack's strength was the thing that he was most relieved about when they were working together. This was far more important than Carson's trust. After signing the contract with Dr. Dusty, Larry had also received Carson and successfully brought him into the dream group. With Carson and Dr. Dusty's research and development team, Zack finally let out a sigh of relief. There was already a preliminary framework for the research and the development of cars. Next, it was time to look for a market to produce cars. However, the power system of the hydrogen energy car had yet to be fully developed, so Zack was not in a hurry. Just as he felt that he could relax for a few days, 
medicine called. The person who picked Ashton up has been found. 